Hey everyone, welcome to another paint pouring video. Um, today I'm trying something new again. Um, this isn't original, what I'm trying. Um, I've seen uh, someone in my Facebook pouring group do something very similar. Um, well, I saw the result of what I think he did. And also, um, there's this artist called Callum Somebody. Uh, I can't remember his last name. I mentioned it on my website. Uh, but I think like CTV uh, did a little video, a YouTube video of him uh, doing his art. He's a Toronto-based uh, artist, and he does almost the exact same thing that I'm doing here. Um, so I just wanted to preface this with, with um, this was my idea. I, I'm just taking a page out of his book because I thought that uh, the end result is awesome and I really wanted to give it a try and uh, do it with cells. Um, unfortunately, I'm still using the Floetrol and PVA glue recipe, which is sort of annoying because of the way that the paint is being delivered, um, it doesn't really allow for a lot of cells. And then you can't really make more cells with the heat source. Um, so I think that I've really got to make the switch over to the GAC 800 or uh, the Liquidex pouring medium um, when I'm doing these types of paintings. Of course, I've got to figure out that recipe first of all, and then I can do it. Anyways, I was super over the moon happy over the result of this. Um, I pre-painted my canvas this teal color because last time I did the teal negative space, it kind of dried funny. Um, but then I think that I had silicone in the paint that I'm pouring on right there because um, it kind of reflected really funny. Um, so I suspect that there was a bunch of silicone in there. Um, I've really got to just purge all my cups and start fresh again. Um, so I don't have any more of this contamination. But uh, the last time that this happened where uh, my negative space background was contaminated with silicone, it actually it was okay, it, it dried okay, so I'm not too worried about it this time. Uh, fingers crossed because uh, I'm super excited about this painting. I, I can't believe that I actually managed to pull it off. I spent like probably a good hour um, making my little tray and practicing my swings. Um, I filled it up uh, in the bathtub and I practiced swinging in the bathtub. Um, my cat uh, really wanted to play with the strings so that uh, complicated things. Uh, but eventually I got this swing down. This is a lot of practicing this swing. Uh, the anticipation was crazy. <laughs> I was really nerve wracking doing this, but uh, I think that I actually did okay with it. I just love uh, the shape that this free form kind of uh, pouring um, creates. It's just so natural and uh, it looks really cool and um, carefree almost. Uh, this is another one of those paintings where I just had an uh, absolute blast doing it. It was so much fun. Um, so that's about it. That was a quick one. Uh, I'll give you a close-up. You can see that the cells aren't really awesome. I really need to uh, switch up my recipe. So maybe next time uh, I do one of these, I'll switch it up. Um, also at the end, I tacked on a little picture of the tray afterwards. I couldn't bring myself to rinse out the tray because it actually had the best cells out of everything. Anyways, I hope you liked my video. If you did, remember to hit like and make sure you've subscribed. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.